Talk to the hospital benefactor. Find a local command post. Actually, do we have another investigation we could do? Another, like, personal investigation thing? I don't want to track this one anymore. We already did that one. We already did that one. The command post is far away and dangerous, though. No investigations there. No, okay. So really all we've got to do then is talk to the benefactor. We have no other options. I knew Chandana would have tried to refuse. He's an honorable man. He tried to do the right thing, but he was shanghaied by fate and circumstance. He wouldn't voluntarily commit an evil act. Hashtag not my Chandana. Or Chandana. All right, lady. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <laughs> yeah, you won't, though, because she's dead. No way to talk. Renfield! Good hands here. We have to save him. I need a Renfield. <laughs> oh, Ashcroft is the fucking vampire, though. Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mine. She's also a vampire, though. What's up, Lady Ashbrook? I know you're a vampire. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Where can I get me one of those Renfields? Yeah, I you want my own surprised. Renfield, though. How do I hook that up? Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. Yeah, where do I get me one of them well, Renfields, though? The lady who saved me that night. God, <laughs> chat! Guess what? Prayer. The lady is a vamp. A the from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Come on. Indeed. It was right there for the picket. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. Yeah, I gathered that. I remember you well. Because the, the lady is a vamp. Hey! I feel played. You know what? I'm actually glad to see you, though. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine. Want to make the Doctor. beast with two, four bat wings and I two backs? I more disposed to answer my questions now. You know, I uh, recently you lost my sister. Questions. Use a little sympathy bang, but maybe. A rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Ah, you went out in the sunlight and everybody saw you sparkle, huh? Okay. Uh, patients have given you have trouble. Have any of the patients given you trouble? What about this Renfield These cat? poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. Where I get me one of them Renfields, though. I believe. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. Yeah, baby. You, you know what else would be better if it was cared for I by a woman like you? A my dick! Evil. I have questions Pardon about becoming vampires, though. Leadership, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for... I have not eaten anyone who didn't deserve it. Wait. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first, prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. I haven't eaten anyone yet, lady. Ah, all right, I'm here to help. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. So here's where the blackmail's going down. We've got it, Jack. The blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. What do you want? Naked pictures of B. Arthur? Those are hard to come by, but I mean, if Brendan Fraser in Airheads can get him. I'd have to assume that a noble vampire such as yourself could probably get him. Is it Who another would vampire? Be so foolish as to threaten you, a kindred spirit. Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions. What's more valuable than money, though? Or their family. It's that lady Goosewick, isn't it? I just know that Goosewick bitch is up to no good, Chad. What do you need what me to do? What are your expectations? Please be precise. 
As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my black man. It's not Rakesh Chandana. I can tell you that right now. There's one person who's immediately crossed off my list. And if he is actually the blackmailer, you know what? I'm going to kill you instead of him. If we're dealing with an ordinary criminal, surely you've the means to deal with it yourself, if I may. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze. The blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Mm -hmm. Violence has a tendency to spiral out of control. I don't know. I've murdered like 20 people since I got here. So, you know, uh, I don't know. I've seemed like relatively well controlled. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. Well, that's a little presumptive, isn't it, Adrian Brody knows? I think it's her decision to decide whether or not you're her man or not. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is chauvinist much? A list of dates. I mean, you do have a glorious man beard, but don't mansplain her. Patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Uh, but is it true though? Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Yeah, I am. Haven't you seen my nose? Uh, it's only logical. We both are afflicted with a thirst for blood, Lady Ashbury. That is our nature. By vocation, we also have reason to visit the hospital. Logic dictates. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. I must quench my thirst Dr. for Swansea blood. has been treating my condition. With the blood? Revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. Wonder what happens if I put my I'll blood in you. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her here. Who's Harriet Jones? One of the other people I'm who didn't have a name now. until now? My life. As others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. Well, that's unfortunate because my powers of persuasion are not that advanced. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Oh, uh, you know what? When you said you'd be my obligé, I got like a French vibe from you and I thought you were going to put on like a lace nighty, and then... But I guess that's not the case, huh? I guess obligé doesn't necessarily mean what I thought it meant. So Dr. Tippett, Gwyneth Brana. Well, let's hit these guys up and see if they know anything good about evening, blackmail. What's up, Tip? Reed, any good news to share? Not a lick. What do you know about shady business, though? Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? I have Other than the times you've been underhanding Nurse Brana's butt. We're here to save lives. Okay. We'll forget about all the times you've gone underhand under Nurse Brana's skirt then and just pretend all of that underhandedness never happened, huh? Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Yeah, hey, you want to tell me about rumors about shady business? Have you heard rumors of anything underhand going on here? For instance, Dr. Tippett's hand slipping yeah. under that cute little skirt of yours? Have you heard rumors of anything underhand going on here at the hospital? No, Doctor. Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you, lady. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. You know what? Don't call me. You won't even look at me when you talk. It's like I'm not even here. It's like she has Asperger's. Like, I'm sorry. Eye contact makes me uncomfortable. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, doctor. Still trying to save lives. <sighs> Got any shady business in the hospital other than the shady business you're actually perpetrating, you piece of shit? Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? There are a lot of secrets around here. I'm not surprised someone tried to make money from them. What kind of secrets? I'm not in the gossip business, Dr. Reed. If you want to know more, you better talk to Harriet Jones. She's the oldest patient here. Got it. Look for a really old lady. Goodbye, Milton. I'll be eating you later. So we're looking for an old lady. Oldest patient here. Pippa Hawkins. Everett, Dr. Tippett's, Thelma, 
Sean Hampton. Hey, Hampton, you know what I mean? Think about shady business Hello, going on here. I feel better already. Can I go soon? Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Also, I think the only thing that you required for healing factor was just, like, sobering up a little bit. Who are you? Pippa, Rakish, Waverly, Ackroyd, Mortimer, Dr. Crane, Harvey Fittick, Rose Strickland, Gosmer. Didn't we have a new, actually, didn't we have a new hint for uh, either Ackroyd or one of these guys we had a new hint for? And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Any, what do you know about Have you blackmail here? talk of blackmail going on in the hospital? If you're running some official inquiry, you had better question the patients. They know more than the staff, especially old Miss Jones. Got it. Everybody's really, the whole hospital's buzzing about this Miss Jones. What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to modern medical methods? It's a shame he's so narrow What do you think of my Wayne Jewin impression? Me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influenza and all that's going on, you should put your differences aside. Don't Kiss and make up. That's what I'm saying. Why is it so difficult to work together? Well, Waverly Ackroyd's kind of an asshole. That's what it is. Transfusion process. He would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. What about Dr. Acula? Is he equally blinded by his concept of medical science? About the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Don't Smith. go see Dr. Acula, by but the way, right, Chad. He sucks. A better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. You seem optimistic. You seem quite optimistic. It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test, a test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Wait, Questions remain are you hitting on me again? To Talking about my endurance? True, I assure true. you, I've got the endurance Last of a blue summer, pill without the, the blue pill. Of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. No, but did you know Milton's running guns through the hospital and stealing from patients? Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research. Did you see how he got shy there, chat? He said, well, yes, really quickly. And then he had to fucking prevaricate because he couldn't admit that what he really wanted was a deep tongue kiss from Dr. Reed. What with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Well, give me the address for I may pass by if I have time. I'll murder a man for you. I don't care. Oh, sweet new investigation, chat. Side quests. I love Goodbye, side quests. Right, where's that Dr. Ackroyd douche nozzle? Where the hell is this Miss Jones lady? Oh, there's Ackroyd. Hey, Ackroyd, don't don't go running off, though. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Eh, well, go fuck yourself. Have you heard about any blackmail going on in this hospital? Chat, blackmail? side eye or side no, quest? No, I mean, come on, chat. It's not even a contest. It's definitely side eye. I don't know what you've heard about. But I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your Yeah, didn't you read, see me give that one guy some money, cough syrup? Fame. I'm a professional I'm doctor dedicated. here. And what exactly is that? Gave sore throat I guy a lozenge. Like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Ackroyd. Yeah, the only sorcerer around here is David Freeze. Improve your theories. I don't need to justify my actions to you. I don't see any reason why I should justify my actions to you. That's true, Dr. Reed. The only judge has to be yourself. The question is, are you judging yourself hard enough? I wasn't judging myself at all. It seems you have bad memories of your military service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. Well, you know what? I'm actually on your side in that one, because World War I was possibly one of the most gruesome conflicts in the history of the human species. We're still missing two hints for this guy, but we don't know what they are. Thank right. you for your time. We'll talk later. Also, that snide note that you wrote to our boy. Not cool. So where's the oldest patient in the hospital here? We're looking for Oldie McOlderson. 
Talk to Harriet. Where is she? The thing says she's 23 meters in this direction. All right. That's her right there. How do we get in there? Galloway. Oh, her door is suddenly unlocked now. I just assumed that this door was locked forever. The hospital is pressed for locations. We got the good reverend, what's his name out here, sleeping on a filthy cot. But this chick has a three-bed bedroom all to herself? How come you get a private room, lady? What's so special about you? Oh, look at me. I get my own room. I'm old. Damn baby boomers. Living up their gimme, gimme, gimme lifestyle. Me, me, me. It's all about me. Clyde Fitch presents Doris Fletcher. Sappho. You know what? I would actually very much like to go see that Doris Fletcher in Sappho. Sounds like my kind of thing. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. Yeah, yeah. Hey, crazy old lady. I'm here to I'm talk. to Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Busy. I really, you know what? I'm telling the old bat to shut the fuck up. If you continue shouting, I'll have you restrained and gagged. Understood. The old bat, no talk lip to Dr. Reed. Reed. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. I don't care if you're Harriet Tubman. I'll still slap the taste out of your mouth, baby. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Why does she keep twitching in her bed like that? That's real weird. I've seen so many. She looks like Larry King. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I. Wait. You're investigating something. No, she's tipped to us. Now she's going to climb up, chat. We're going to have to we're going to have to beat a confession out of her. Uh, you like gossip? If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God, Quit God, doing that thing where you wiggle your shoulders. It's real weird. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. Man, this woman is quite disagreeable. You know what? I'm warming up to her. You seem to know more about the goings-on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. Are you wealthy or something, lady? Like, why is everybody deferential to you? Just because you're old and cranky? Typical baby boomer. Me, 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 me. It's all about me. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. Well, you know, you got a bit of a point about Brannigan and Hawkins. I'm not going to lie. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. I mean, I already found out about two of them and said, you know what, what you do. This whole bag salt level's getting close to Pete. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. I mean, I already know who's fucking, though. Please tell me I don't have to talk to this woman anymore. Fine, Nurse Pippa Hawkins. Fine, Dorothy Crane. All right. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. No, I'm just going to go find Nurse Pippa and Dorothy Crane because that's what the quest tells me to do. Also, can we eat Harriet Jones? How much EXP is she worth? Man, we got to have a really high mesmerization level to kill her, though. Elwood. I actually want to help that Elwood guy. He's a veteran like me. We already know who Pippa's fucking. She's boning Milton the ambulance man. Don't care about Harvey Fittick. Mortarburn, Beatrice, don't give a shit. Lady Ashley. My sweet girl. How come these people are never around when you want to find them? My 
They're constantly underfoot until the moment you actually need to speak to one of them, and then they vanish like a ghost in the night. Whenever you need to speak to one of them, boom, they're fucking Kaiser Soze. All right, Pippa, hold up here. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Ray. I heard you had slutty sores on your vagina. Uh, at least that's what that old bat in the West Wing said. Can you confirm the presence of said sores? And have you transmitted them to Milton? Because if you haven't, I would kind of like you to. I hope you give him syphilis because he's an asshole and deserves it. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with our old shrew, Harriet Jones. I did indeed, yes. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. So you're saying the sores are not the truth. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to say Miss Jones deserves our help because she kind of doesn't. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if the nurse finds some happiness where she can? Ooh, listen to Pippa Hawkins here, pimping for the vagina. You go, girl. Girl power. Give it no to her. No matter him. how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. She kind of does. Says I don't care for her. Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. I see. So by giving her a target for her hatred, you're in fact enhancing her chances of healing. That's uh, that's very noble of you. What can you tell me about the strange man? visiting one of the nurses during her shift. Let me guess. You spoke with our old shrew, Harriet Jones. I did, Harriet yes. Jones. I talked to her. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. I'm going to assume that just every time I go with that conversation option, you give us the Goodbye, same thing. So see you in hell, Nurse Hawkins. Let's go find Dr. Nurse Crane. Where are you at? Uh, it's Nurse Brana that hangs out with this dude. Yeah. Man, I really want to eat Clay Cox, though. He's almost not even worth eating, though. At 490 EXP, he's barely worth it. Crone, shrew, witch, just call her a cunt. I mean, you said it, not me, Chad. Dr. Rakish Chandana, I'm never going to eat you, though. Greatest man who's ever lived, chat. Right there, you're looking at him. Paragon of virtue. Maybe Nurse Crane went upstairs? That's Swansea. You know what? I bet she's 74 meters in this direction. Why does this why do these NPCs wander so far from their appointed spots? Uh who's this? Who the hell are you? Eve's job. If a citizen is behaving suspiciously, their heart will emit a distinctive glow. By looking at the citizen, you'll unlock a special interaction. Oh, this is the mystery man. Or is he not the mystery man? He is not the mystery man. Stand on the blood. Sure you don't come back with me. Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. All doctors. Could well, you then, wash your hands, lady? You You're in the river, though. You may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well. dip, dip your hands in a river. Please wash your hands, lady. That's all I want. Please just wash your hands. 